What is up guys and welcome back. So I have been tasked with a job to create a stair nosing made from vinyl plank. Now this vinyl plank, it is designed to be glued down so it's very thin, which is also gonna be a challenge because it's thin. So I think I've came up with a clever way on how to do this. I started out by thinning out a piece of wood on the drum sander to be the exact thickness of the vinyl plank. I then cut a piece of wood that will become the nosing part of this molding. Next I glued those two pieces together and I used a piece of wood on the bottom side as a clamping call to make sure I got good and even clamping pressure. And I left it clamped up for about half an hour. When the glue is dry, I trimmed the nosing to its proper height. Then over at the router table, I added a half inch round over which gave it a rounded radius on the front of the nose. I did this in two passes. Now all that is left to do is to glue the vinyl plank to the nosing. And I'm gonna be using contact cement to do this. And I put two coats on the wood nosing and two coats on the bottom of the vinyl plank. And I did this because I wanted to make sure that I was gonna get a good adhesion. And when the contact cement was dried to the touch, I carefully mated the two pieces together. I used my hand roller to make sure there was good adhesion. Now this is the part I was most nervous about doing. I didn't know if this was going to work, but I used a heat gun to get that vinyl plank really floppy. And I chose to use my heat gun over a propane torch because I'm using contact cement and contact cement puts off fumes and I did not want to set my shop on fire. And once that was good and floppy, I then carefully rolled that nosing into the vinyl plank. I used some clamping calls to help hold that nosing in shape as it cooled down. And then to trim off the excess, I just carefully reheated it up with a heat gun and trimmed it off with a hook blade, which is kind of similar to a roofing knife. You have to be very careful that you do not get this too hot because contact cement will release with heat. And the last step is to trim it to length. And as you can see, I had to make this an overlap nosing and that turned out awesome. I couldn't be happier. So that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. It was pretty easy to make and I believe that you guys can make this at home as well. Like all you need really is a table saw, a router and a heat gun and you can make one of these nosings. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on a pre-made one that doesn't exactly match your floor. You can use your exact flooring to make a nosing. So. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, if you want to see more like it, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.